So I'm gonna show you my technique. It's pretty simple as far as shipping um, smaller paintings. Even, it works for big paintings as well, but um, I missed out on a lot of sales in the past because I didn't know how to ship stuff. Um, so basically all you need is this poster board. Get it like the dollar store, or even if you don't have a dollar store, they're like two bucks or something from any craft store. And uh, I'll show you what I do. It's very simple. What I do, um, so I kind of just know the edges that I want to fold up. So I'll place the painting down, kind of like trace around it, tip it up, trace that ledge, flop it, trace this edge, um, which I'll show you that's, I've already done it here. So basically do that. And then you go ahead and cut along these edges here. Um, you leave these two lips and this lip here and this lip here. Uh, you cut along those edges, then you want to score these here, score these here, score these here, score these here. So you can fold them, make it easy, uh, and it makes it like a perfect box. Uh, it's pretty, pretty simple, like I say, and it's pretty foolproof. I've shipped probably 50, 60 paintings this way, and knock on wood, they've all turned up okay. So, so I have a cutting mat here that I was lended for the purpose of this video. Um, sometimes I cut on like an old rug, um, have an old drafting board. Basically, obviously, you don't want to use an X-Acto or a box cutter on anything you don't want to destroy because this is a very, very light material and you'll cut right through it um and obviously i don't want to be destroyed for destroying the coffee table this blade appears to be a little bit dull as it were but i just wanted to show you how I do this. I'm sure my arm is just in the way, so it doesn't really matter anyway. Um, I have really dulled this blade, so I have shipped a lot more paintings than I thought. Because <laughs> I don't really use this blade for anything other than But this stuff is so easy to cut through. It really doesn't matter even if the blade is dull, but a, a dull blade is dangerous. So you definitely want to use a sharp blade if you can. Obviously a sharp blade is very dangerous. <laughs> so be careful, respect the blade. So I'm going to score along these edges by just barely touching down on this, very lightly. And I have a pretty steady hand. You might want to use a straight edge. Um, I don't know, I've just always had a very steady hand. Except for when I'm going through withdrawal of sugar, then I shake like a maniac. But it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so now check this out. Got this, fold all these edges up. Now you've got like a perfect little box for your painting. I put the painting face down like so. And this is very well protected. Um, so you can use this and get, you know, you tape it up, which I'll show you. Um, and then you can either wrap it with the paper, the like shipping paper, that brown paper, tape it up, right, and mail it. Or if you're like me and you're kind of a freak, and instead of worrying completely, um, I actually put 
smaller paintings in padded envelopes. So it's like a little bit neurotic, but I want my client's painting to get there just fine because I can't replace a painting. I mean, I could repaint something, but it's not the same. So if something gets damaged, um, it would it would really suck because they're one of a kind items. So then the best way for me, this is how I like to do it. Just some plain masking tape. It's a new roll, so I can't find the, the start. Um, not that this is needing explanation, but just in case you don't know, that's cool. I like to fold up the edges like so. Make the edges kind of solid with the tape. Wearing my gym shorts and stuff because it's you gotta be comfortable when you're doing this stuff, you know? Get those edges nice, because that's another thing with like the post office, UPS, whoever you use. Um, you know, I'm not trying to slander them, but they, they throw these packages around and it's good to have the corners nice and tight because that's one thing that will get damaged for sure. And I think this is pretty solid as far as getting poked through and actually ruining the canvas. So you do that and then what I do is go over this with this fatter tape. Um, and I usually fold it over so it's easy for the customer to open and stuff so it's not like annoying and then I usually write like a little thank you on the, the packaging as well. But I'll show you the finished thing here in a second. Alrighty, so just to show you how I do the seams, um, doesn't need much tape actually, but you've got seam there. So I just like to reinforce these sides. Okay. Doesn't have to be pretty or perfect. Um, just so long as it's sealed, basically. I don't even think you would need to do any of this, but yeah, might as well, right? It's your painting. You put a lot of a lot of time and effort and love and heart and soul in it. So why wouldn't you anyway? Just make sure it's packaged nice. And my big Ophi hands cringled some tape, so it's not always pretty, but it's a pretty well sealed package. And I'll probably put a little bit here, just along this seam. <laughs> because I'm filming this, the tape is cringling up and acting a fool. But as you can see, now this painting is like completely protected. And like I say, you could just wrap this with the the postage paper, the brown paper, and you know, write the address, whatever, and go ship it. And it's actually pretty cheap to ship this way too. Um, and with larger paintings, I'll make a video the next time I sell and ship a large painting. Um, Cause again, I'm neurotic, but you can ask any of my clients, their stuff all gets there safe and sound. And you can pay an expensive place. Um, I think I shipped a big painting one time and it cost over $500 to ship it. And it was done really well and really professionally. And if the client wants to pay that, I'm fine. But I don't think most people want to, to pay that much unless they're buying like a $5,000 painting or something. Um, in that case, I probably would use a service even if I took it out of my profits just to ensure that it got there safe. This particular painting, because I want to, and it's very easy for me to do it. Put it up in a bubble wrap envelope. It's a pretty tight fit. But now you got it completely, completely foolproof package. I'll still probably insure it because I'm a nut. But that's how you ship a painting.